Every 40 seconds, someone in America dies from a heart attack. But here's what most people don't know. Heart failure and heart attack are not the same thing. Confusing them can cost you your life. I'm going to show you the exact differences using 3D animation so you can recognize the warning signs, act fast, and potentially save your life or someone you love. This is information every American and Canadian needs to know. Let's dive into your heart. What is a heart attack? A heart attack happens when blood flow to part of your heart muscle suddenly stops. Think of it like a blocked highway. No traffic can get through. Here's what happens inside your body. A fatty plaque in your coronary artery ruptures. A blood clot forms at the rupture site. Within minutes, that clot completely blocks the artery. Your heart muscle downstream from the blockage starts dying because it's not getting oxygen-rich blood. The medical term is myocardial infarction. Time is critical every minute counts. The longer the blockage lasts, the more heart muscle dies permanently. Heart attack symptoms. Here are the warning signs you must never ignore. Classic symptoms, crushing chest pain or pressure that feels like an elephant sitting on your chest, pain radiating to your left arm, jaw, neck, or back, sudden shortness of breath even at rest, cold sweats breaking out for no reason, nausea or vomiting, extreme fatigue or weakness. Critical fact for men, you're more likely to experience classic chest pain. Critical fact for women, you might have atypical symptoms like unusual fatigue, indigestion, or back pain without chest pain. The golden rule is if you suspect a heart attack, call 911 immediately. Do not drive yourself to the hospital. Paramedics can start treatment in the ambulance, which dramatically increases your survival chances. What is heart failure? Now let's talk about heart failure. This is completely different. Heart failure means your heart muscle has become too weak to pump blood efficiently throughout your body. It's not a sudden blockage, it's a gradual weakening over months or years. Here's the 3D view. Your heart chambers enlarge and stretch. The muscle walls become thinner and weaker. With each beat, your heart pumps less blood than your body needs. Fluid backs up into your lungs, legs, and abdomen because your heart can't keep up with the circulation demands. Think of it like a worn-out water pump that's slowly losing power. Heart failure symptoms develop gradually. Primary symptoms, persistent fatigue and weakness, even with light activity. Shortness of breath when lying flat, you need extra pillows to sleep. Swelling in your ankles, legs, or abdomen from fluid buildup. Rapid or irregular heartbeat, reduced ability to exercise. Persistent cough or wheezing, especially at night. The key difference, heart attack symptoms hit suddenly and intensely. Heart failure symptoms creep up slowly over time and gradually worsen. Both conditions are serious. Both require immediate medical attention. But the treatment approaches are completely different. Side-by-side -side comparison. Let's compare them directly. Heart attack, sudden arterial blockage, immediate severe chest pain, an emergency within minutes. Treatment, restore blood flow immediately through clot-busting drugs or emergency stenting. Heart failure, gradual muscle weakening. Progressive symptoms over time, chronic condition requiring ongoing management. Treatment, medications to strengthen heart function, lifestyle changes, and sometimes devices or surgery. Bottom line, heart attack is an acute emergency. Heart failure is a chronic condition. Both damage your heart, but in completely different ways. Emergency signs and prevention. Call 911 immediately if you experience crushing chest pain lasting more than five minutes, sudden severe shortness of breath, pain spreading to arm, jaw, or back, loss of consciousness or fainting, cold sweats with chest discomfort. Prevention for both conditions, control your blood pressure, check it regularly. Manage cholesterol through diet and medication if needed. Exercise 150 minutes per week minimum. Quit smoking, it doubles your heart disease risk. Maintain healthy weight, control diabetes if you have it, reduce stress through meditation or exercise. These steps reduce your risk by up to 80%. Now you know the life-saving difference between heart failure and heart attack. You know the warning signs. You know when to call 911. Share this video with every man over 40 in your life. Subscribe for more 3D medical animations that could save your life. Hit the bell icon so you never miss critical health information. Your heart is your engine. Protect it, stay informed, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.